Welcome back. That's our sock, Sam. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, oh, Kelly. Okay. Sorry. All right. We want to announce this great giveaway. It's the Bentley Skin Care and Wellness Love Your Skin giveaway. Now, for the next three weeks, Bentley Skin Care is giving away a $25 gift card uh, to any of their services, uh, wrinkle relaxers, fillers, facials, hair removal. What you got to do to win is you got to go sign up to uh, ozarksfirst.com. The winners will be drawn on Friday and we will announce it on the following Monday show. Now, Bentley, at Bentley, you get to reach out to a medical professional and they're gonna assess your skin and they're gonna kind of guide you on what you need. So that's really cool. Now, um, also on December 16th, they'll announce the grand prize winner who will receive a $500 custom package from Bentley Skin Care and Wellness. So a lot of great things. Go on there and register and you can find it on our Facebook page. You'll have to scroll down. Scroll down quite a bit now. Yeah. But yeah, it's there. Ozarksfirst.com or our Facebook page. But uh, go register today because that's a great idea. $25 dollar gift card yes and you Jared, can look refreshed for the holidays oh wouldn't that be nice yes lots rested yes. rested rested speaking of holidays yes. this looks very festive thank you what you doing here well you know uh i decided to not spend any money yes and just go into my stuff and see what could i make for a last minute diy thanksgiving centerpiece mm -hmm. that will impress your friends and family tomorrow i love it now this is also if i had and we're going to do different variations of okay. it okay and use your own creativity because you probably have things similar to this at home. Right. Sim alert. And okay? maybe you put them in a different place one yeah. year and you change them up. I do that all the time. I do too. So for example, I brought Kelly a little hay wreath. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, that's cute. I like it. <laughs> and I have my foam wreath. Now I don't typically glue or secure anything mm -hmm. permanently because I want to reuse things. I love that idea. I like to repurpose like this foam wreath. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's torn and has holes in it because <laughs> I've used it a lot. Th but nobody sees that when you get it done, right? No. So what I'm going to do is I found this ribbon with some leaves on it that I actually had on a different wreath last year mm -hmm. and I took it off and transitioned that one to summer. Do you glue this a little bit? I glued the leaves the on it, I believe. Leaves on yeah. it. Okay. But um, like I like to keep this together, but now I'm using it on a totally different wreath. I love it. So Kelly, for you, I brought you some pumpkin ribbon. Okay. To now, here's the thing. You don't since this wreath is kind of hay colored. You could just do it with gaps. So you're saying you don't okay. have to solid. I'm co I'm covering this to cover the green. I got gotcha. you. You don't have to, and we're going to secure it with uh, oh, little straight I was pins. Say, so start it with a straight pin. Yeah, start with a straight pin and then wrap it around because I don't want to glue it on because guess what? I'm going to reuse that wreath for something I else understand. probably next year. I get you. And I'm just using this so to cover. So you want me to leave it here and there. Yeah, right, I we'll say space that. it out. Right, because I do like the idea of the, oh, no, I'm messing up the centerpiece here. That's sorry. all right. No, you're fine. I do like the idea of letting the hay show through. I think for that one, definitely. This one, this green foam is not the prettiest. See, no. what I'm having trouble with is this. I would probably just, can I just take this off here? Yeah, absolutely. Throw it right. on the ground. Because there's, I don't know if, all right. Yeah, just throw it. Yeah. You just do what you need there to do. Go. I need it off there to do what I so got to do. So as you're doing that, I'm going to work on mine. And I'm actually, I'm going to give you this. Cause so, hey, Kelly, guess where I bought these? These are actually... Vintage pumpkin paper uh, placemats. And guess where I bought them? Uh, dollar store? Miss Gilmore's Tea Room. Oh! <laughs> well, I thought you were going to be very savvy, and, and they have good prices there, too. Well, they I do. Love well, that. The thing is, I've had these for years and years and years, uh -huh. and I like to reuse them because I love. Those are, I've never seen so anything so cool. They're so cool. These are vintage. So, what I'm going to do, since you're using pumpkin ribbon, we're going to set this down, and once you're done, you're going to set that on top of your pumpkin gotcha, placemat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now, I have so many of these, I use these as the placemats for my table for Thanksgiving. I really like those. So now I'm going to set my wreath. Now, picture, we're doing two centerpieces. Normally, you'd have your table runner, and you'll do one in the center, but right. we're going to do two for fun. Because okay. you'll have one, I'll have one. I like it. So I'm going to set my little wreath right here down. Now, I'm going to use, guess what this is, Kelly? It's a vase. It's a vase. And it's everybody a, has vases no, for flowers. Sorry, it's a vase. It's a vase. But I'm going to be using it as a hurricane now, for a candle. Now, let me see, Jeremy. Yeah. I, I've got extra here. Can I do a little something with this? Do it. Uh, Your right. creative control okay. is what this project needs. All right. So I'm going to use the vase as a hurricane. Now, typically hurricanes, you can buy at the Dollar Tree. You put the candles in it so it's so securely safe from everything. You don't want the candle falling exactly. over. Exactly. So I have this candle. Again, I just liked it. And it's going to give texture and dimension by putting this candle and it's going to give it height, by the way, too. I, I want love height. that. that looks so that great. candle in the center. Wow. Now, you have sprigs. I have sprigs. Right. Uh, these are autumnal sprigs that I'm going to set, and I'm going to put the end right here underneath the ribbon, Kelly, so you're hiding them. But guess what? It's giving it width oh, now. Oh, I love that. It's giving it width. Oh, I think I did that on the wrong side, but oh, that's all right. Can I put some of these on here? Is that what you yes. want to do? Yes, and I brought these. If you wanted to snip any off and just put it throughout, you could oh, like, okay. these oh, could I be can tugged. Oh, I can snip this out. Okay. Yeah. I can cut you this? Can you, absolutely, you can. Okay. 
and I'm going to put this one here. So what you've got on this one, look at this, Cal. You've got That's the width beautiful. and this. Yes. Then look at my friend, little. this is Steve the Scarecrow. Uh, Steve. Hi, Steve. You're not scared of Steve, are you? I'm not. Okay. Good. And I'm going to set him in here because he's going to welcome your guest. He's so cute. He's just going to sit there and be you like, know, hey, y'all. I love that. And I love it. Like him. you say, every year you can put Steve someplace different. Yes. I, see, I love what you're doing. That's what I wanted you to do. Feel free to be creative. Take those sprigs, cut them up, place them all the way around, Honestly, underneath. I, I'm going to be honest. When I'm working on something like this, it's yeah. hard for me to pay attention to anything. No, you just I'm do what you need on. to do. So the last thing I'm going to do, Kelly, just to fill it in, because sometimes I can't stop myself, and I found this leaf garland. Oh, I love it. I'm going to fill the gap between the wreath okay. with this to give it just a little pop of color okay. right here. I, oh, that's pretty. See, look at that. That's it's just so fun. It's different, and you can so reuse pretty. this. And I'm going to light my candle. There we go. Light your fire, Jeremy. Yes. Now, Kelly, we may have to speed you up just a hair. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I know. I'm getting well, too creative. Just to get the idea. Okay, okay, just the idea. Let me turn this around to the camera. Okay. So and you add to the sprigs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hard, so hard so, to be creative. No, I know. So and then guess what? We're going to put the candle okay. down in your hurricane. Okay. And then you can even put sprigs or other yes. ribbon in well, between. Yeah, you would just kind of. See, no, see fill it out. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's oh what I'm talking gosh, about. Okay. this is so much. This is a great idea, and you see how much time it took, guys. Not much. Not at much all. time at all. Look at that. We have our own oh, centerpieces. Yeah, there you go. Thank you to all of our guests, and thank you for tuning in to Ozark's Fox Day. And please have a great Thanksgiving, you guys. See you soon.